Hello and welcome to this video. This is Catrix and in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at ribs. So what are ribs? So essentially ribs are these things here that are between two walls and help strengthen the part and aid rigidity of the part. So if we didn't have these, these two walls, if we pushed enough force on them, they would break quite easily. But with the ribs on the side, this would be extremely difficult. Now, in the middle one is just showing you that ribs don't need to be completely straight, but they can be any sort of profile. Although this may not be uh, that quite useful in, re in reality. So here we have more ribs, but actually these are known as web in Fusion 360 via this menu here. So if we look at some more, this is multiple ribs. And this is web again. And these are technically gussets. Um, but they're basically ribs as well. So you can see on the previous one, this is, uh, well, maybe the best, this one's the best one to show. But this is kind of like a boss where we would screw something into. And if we didn't have these ribs either side, even though we use the web tool to create these, this could easily break if we pushed enough force kind of uh, laterally uh, on this. If that's, uh, if, uh, sorry, longitudinally, if we put force on kind of this direction um, towards the side, we could probably snap it. So I'm just gonna show you some Google pictures to kind of demonstrate it as well. So uh, this is essentially uh, explaining kind of ribs essentially so you can see it's kind of got sort of a guideline sort of ratio we should consider using so um, you can see that t is the nominal kind of component uh, wool thickness so it's this thickness here so we can see that c should be about 2t and uh, it doesn't actually say on this one but the height the rib should also be shown there um, you can see the thickness, which is denoted by A, should be about half the wall thickness to about 0.7. If I just show you on this one, it kind of shows you gussets. Normally these are used by injection molding kind of processes to help strengthen these kind of bosses. And again, these are bosses. So you can see here on the title, it says bosses. Um, this is another kind of so it's a YouTube video but this explains sort of the ratios between ribs and bosses. Um, you can see like the distance between ribs is ideally greater than two times the wall thickness. So you can see T here is a nominal wall thickness. So um, again, I'm, I'm not gonna go too uh, mental into trying to replicate the exact ratios in ideal circumstances. Um, so I'm just gonna show you kind of how to go about making this sort of thing in Fusion 360 uh, uh, without kind of going by the ratios, for example. So I'm gonna start off some, with something kind of basic. So this is kind of like the most basic we can go. So if we just create a new design, we're gonna press R um, for rectangle, which is kind of the way I do it, rather than going up here and going create and create sketch. Then we're gonna select our profile, which we want to, or the plane, sorry, that we want to create our sketch on. So I'm just gonna use this one because I want to create it kind of like as if it's upright, not on the floor. So I'm gonna click here and we're going to create um, two rectangles. Um, we're gonna make like an L bracket sort of thing. So we'll make it five by, I don't know, 50. And then we're gonna get another rectangle and we're gonna do uh same thing and we can go ahead and whoops we can go ahead and make this five to get rid of the blue line which is what we should really be doing in fusion 360 and you can see that there's still a blue line here and this is because it doesn't know how long it should be and uh, if you just grab it and move it about you can kind of see how you should constrain it so we need to constrain it by giving it a dimension. So we're gonna press D for dimension. We can also go up to this sketch dimension and we're gonna click on this line here. 
Now we're just going to type in 50 like we did before. Now we're going to click on finish sketch. Now we're going to select all of these profiles by um, holding control and clicking this. Whoops. And clicking this one. Now we're going to click either Q or E to extrude this out. So I'm going to press E because it's uh, going to be an extrude operation. You can also go to press pull. So we're going to push this out. Let's say 50 looks quite good. So you can see that if we were to put any sort of load on this, it would probably snap at this point, especially here without a fillet. And by the way, a fillet is this sort of thing, if you didn't know. So to create this uh, rib, what we're going to do is if we don't want it on the edge, say we want them in a little bit, what we can do is go to offset plane. We're going to select this plane, or we could even select this one. But I want to do it uh, with this as the reference point. So I'm going to click on this plane, and then I'm going to move it. As you can see, it's right in that plane. We're going to move it, I don't know, about five millimeters and click OK. Now what we need to do is start a sketch on this profile. So what you can do uh, is just click L for line tool. And this is saying, oh, which which plane do you want to start your sketch on? Um, and this is the plane that I want to start a sketch on. Of course, you could also go to create and create sketch, but that is too long winded for me and I'm so lazy at this sort of thing. So I'd rather just do it with the key. So we're gonna press L, click on this plane. And now we want to create our open sketch curve. And an open sketch curve is when we don't link back to the original point. So if I just click escape, that's an open sketch curve. But this is a closed sketch curve. A closed sketch curve creates a plane which you can actually select. So we're going to go back to that and delete that. The problem is because we are not on this face as on this edge face here, we don't have any points which we can snap onto. So to create them, what we need to do is project them. And projection is literally just like casting the lines as if we were putting a light on it we were, and we're casting a shadow on to our plane, which is, we can't see right now, so I'm going to just enable it by going to construction and plane. And I've accidentally drawn a bit there. I'm going to click on that. We can see our profile. So what we want to do is go to create and project. You also can press P, which is a lot quicker, and click on that. So all we need to do is select the geometry which we want to project. So you need to select the body, which is probably, you know, selected, but it creates this red line for all of it, even stuff we don't care about, like the back. Or we can select just the specified entity. So we can just do this particular line and this particular line. So I'm just going to do the whole thing, not because it's any, not because it's a better idea, but because it's one click and I don't have to click twice. There we go, we're going back to how lazy I am. So I'm gonna click OK. So now we actually have some points that we can click snap to essentially. So I'm gonna click on front, and now I'm gonna create a line from here to here. I'm not gonna worry about dimensions until I'm actually going to specify them. So we're gonna to go to sketch dimension, click on this point if we can, and click on this point, and type in the dimension that we want. So remember I said before with the uh, the ratios, I'm not gonna worry too much about them. I'm just gonna show the concept and you can worry about that in your own time. So I'm just gonna put something like 10, for example. Actually, that is a bit ridiculous. Um, let's put uh, no, 20. And for here, uh, if we can, I'm gonna select from here to here. Uh, so we can specify the height. And we're gonna make this, I know, 30. Now we can click finish sketch. Now to create our rib, what we need to do is go to create rib and we're going to select our open sketch curve. So you can see now we've got a default value of three and 
This video got a little long so it was broken up into separate videos. To continue watching click on the next video in the playlist.